Hello there and welcome to Level Update. Lake Mead is currently measured at 1,057.23 feet above mean sea level as of November 18, 2025, placing it a little under 172 feet below its full pool of 1,229 feet. While this might appear low when viewed in isolation, it fits well within the normal operating range that the reservoir has occupied for most of the last several years. Lake Mead's water elevation typically follows a predictable annual rhythm driven by seasonal water demand, hydropower generation requirements, and coordinated release schedules from upstream reservoirs, most notably Lake Powell. What stands out this year is how stable the reservoir has been through the last several months, holding within a narrow band around 1,057 to 1,058 feet with only gentle fluctuations, suggesting carefully balanced management of inflows and outflows. The year began with the lake sitting near 1,054 feet, showing minor variations through January and February that are common during winter, when downstream demand is lower and hydropower operations are relatively steady. By March, the lake began a gradual climb, approaching and then crossing the 1,055-foot mark. The upward trend continued through spring and summer, with the most pronounced rise occurring from July through late September, when levels increased from roughly 1,056 feet to nearly 1,059 feet. This summer rise aligns with known operational patterns. Upstream releases from Lake Powell typically increase as part of coordinated basin management, sending additional water downstream into Mead, while irrigation demand softens slightly in some regions. Once the reservoir reached its late September peak, the level began a controlled and expected decline. As autumn progresses, downstream water deliveries for agricultural and municipal use remain high, and hydropower output often increases to meet energy demand. At the same time, upstream releases generally decrease as Powell shifts into late-year operations, which reduces inflow to Lake Mead. These combined factors gently pull the reservoir downward. By early November, the rate of decline eased and the lake settled around the current level near 1,057 feet, where it has remained relatively stable. When comparing 2025 to previous years, the broader trend becomes clearer. Several years earlier, such as 2020 and 2021, Lake Mead operated noticeably higher, often between 1,080 and 1,095 feet during the early parts of the year before slowly tapering off. Later years, especially 2022, displayed much lower levels, with the reservoir dipping into the low 1,040s. In 2023, the lake rose again into the mid-1,060s, reflecting different upstream release schedules. The 2024 trajectory hovered around 1,060 to 1,072 feet for much of the year, showing moderate but steady elevation. Against that backdrop, 2025 fits squarely in the middle not as high as early decade readings, but significantly improved from the lows observed just a few years prior. This pattern shows how upstream and downstream operations shape Lake Mead's elevation more directly than any single year effect. The 2025 rise during spring and summer is consistent with coordinated water deliveries from Lake Powell, timed to meet basin-wide obligations. The summer increase is also supported by reduced local demand during particular weeks, allowing more of the incoming water to accumulate in the reservoir. Hydropower operations at Hoover Dam also play a role. When electricity demand is lower, or when alternative energy sources reduce the need for sustained releases, outflow decreases slightly, allowing the lake to climb. Later in the year, the decline from late summer into autumn is equally predictable. Agricultural deliveries downstream peak through late August and September, requiring larger releases from Hoover Dam. Municipal demand in Arizona, Nevada, and California remains steady during this period, contributing to higher outflow. As irrigation needs taper heading into November, the system transitions into a more balanced state. Reduced hydropower generation and lower downstream demand help stabilize lake levels, especially when upstream reservoirs scale back their releases heading into the winter season. 
At its current elevation, Lake Mead is comfortably above the thresholds required for normal hydropower generation at Hoover Dam. The turbines operate most efficiently above 1,050 feet, so the current water level offers an adequate buffer. This stable band around 1,057 feet also indicates that the system is not experiencing strong pressure in either direction, neither a rapid fall that would strain operations, nor an unusually strong rise that would require adjusted releases to maintain balance downstream. Looking ahead, the seasonal pattern gives us a good sense of what to expect. From late November through February, Lake Mead often stabilizes or rises slightly due to lower irrigation withdrawals and lighter hydropower use. As spring approaches, inflows from upstream reservoirs usually increase and can give Lake Mead another small boost. The most favorable period for increases generally occurs from midsummer into early fall, when upstream releases peak and local demand occasionally dips. Afterward, the familiar downward trend resumes. This cycle has repeated with remarkable consistency across all the comparison years visible on the multi-year chart. In summary, Lake Mead's position at just over 1,057 feet represents a steady and controlled condition for the reservoir in 2025. The year has demonstrated a balanced pattern, modest rises in spring, stronger gains in summer, a measured decline in autumn, and a leveling off as winter approaches. When compared against recent years, 2025 stands between previous highs and lows, signaling neither an exceptional surge nor a worrying drop. Instead, the lake reflects the steady influence of coordinated water releases, seasonal demand changes, and Hoover Dam's operational requirements, the core drivers behind its present water level, and the likely determinants of its behavior in the months ahead. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next update. I'll continue tracking Lake Mead's changes, analyzing the data, and bringing you clear explanations without unnecessary noise. See you in the next video.